Texers. For Minnesota, a slow start to the season. A win tonight could bring them closer to 500. That's the goal. Sixers, Timberwolves, tip off in just a moment. Live coverage of the NBA here on 2K Sports. A happy Sunday evening to you and yours. With Greg Anthony and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlow. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Kevin, thanks. Last season, some people called on Joel Embiid to be more aggressive. The process accepted that with humility, saying, I want to be great, and it's only right for people to expect me to drop 35 a night. At the same time, he said, I'm not a selfish player. If the defense double teams me, it's about making the right play. Kevin? David, he is showing that maturity. Thanks for that report. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. Taking a look at Philadelphia. Solid start to the season so far. Sitting in sixth place. Well, right now for the 76ers, they've stayed right there just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders. That's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season. Well, it's possible we haven't seen them at their best yet. They've shown they can play with any team in the league. Now they need to do it every night, not just some nights. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Malik Beasley out there with Edwards. Then it's Ricky Rubio. Then it's Russell. And it's Towns. And at the center, filling out the middle. And for Philadelphia, Harrison and Bead together in the middle. Matisse Thibel's out there with Ben Simmons, and it's Green in at the three spot. A lot of teams with a lot of new players, Greg, this time of year can be a real challenge to mesh. No doubt. You know, getting everybody on the same page sometimes, it, it can take time. And then you have to build that trust. Weathering the storms together will obviously help you do that. MB and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one is on town. And it's crazy to think how soft a touch Embiid has on his shot. The league rarely sees a guy with his size have such a rhythmic form shooting. Yeah, and Embiid has always been comfortable shooting outside. Not the best percentages from deep, but enough to keep defenders honest. His touch shows up most when he goes into his post fadeaways. Now, here's Rubio. Easily outside. Misses from short range. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. Three-pointer. And it's Russell with the rebound. And it's Beasley in the corner. Now the pass to Edwards. And he makes good on the layup. And getting the offense started with a high-quality look down low. About one minute into the first quarter. Simmons with it. A 24-point outing in their last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Simmons against Rubio. No good. Shot missing. Good D by Embiid. 18 feet out. Here's Thibel. Kept alive. Pass to Simmons. Shoots over Rubio. And the rejection by Towns. Not how you want to start the game. Four straight misses. I, I'd like to see some better ball movement from you. Here's Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Such an impressive athlete. The way Simmons moves on the drive is so natural and under control. Rubio, the pass to Russell. about two minutes played here in the first quarter first shot first basket he's out of the blocks fast and once he got to the 10 I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open yeah very little resistance I mean you had to bring much faster help than that here's Simmons after D'Angelo Russell's bucket on the wing green covered by Beasley here's Embiid it's good he makes his first shot of the game that's the savvy veteran Green. He's able to spot when his teammates aren't being covered. That's a nice read right there. To the middle and stolen by Harris. They're running. 
Here's Simmons. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Here's Russell. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. Yeah, and, and the second chance points, guys, mean a lot over the course of the game. And they just had so few opportunities. And I think that was their Achilles heel. And second chance points. This is another great indicator of which team won in the hustle department. And tonight, they didn't win that battle. Philadelphia with the ball. Harris outside. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, when, and when Harris is down deep, he is exceptional with being physical. Really puts defenders in a tough spot. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. Shooting two. The first one falls. I mean, you look at it all around game of Harris. He's even been good from the free throw line. And Harris drops them both. Timberwolves trail by three. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. And Embiid with the block. And, and the wingspan of Embiid, I mean, very effective at using his length to turn shots back. Here's Harris. Rubio with the rebound. I don't think the D does good enough here, but something causes the miss. Here's Towns. Here's Edwards. And he overshot that one, missing. And there's the foul. It's on Towns. That's foul number two for him. Ed Davis has checked in for Towns. The 76ers leading by three. Al Simmons from deep green. Still looking for his first make after that miss. He's 0 for 2. Here's Edwards. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Oh, what a sleep playmaker. Russell doesn't miss many chances to create an easy bucket for a teammate. And so Simmons will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Dishes it to Green. Corner shot, and the jumper is good. And Bede's got six points. Well, he doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Timeout called first of the game for Minnesota. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the teams. Yeah, should be a fun game to watch. I mean, two teams that don't see each other that much. They'll learn a lot about each other tonight. Timberwolves trail by three. Pass to Davis. Now here's Beasley. No points in the game yet for him. They get it back. Davis kicks to Russell. Out to the wing. Shot clock at five. Easily outside. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. The 76ers leading by three. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. And here's Edwards. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Miami. Pass to Russell. To the inside. He can't get that one to fall. Good D by Embiid. Here's Green. No good there. And Minnesota will come the other way. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. I tell you, they were drawing a lot of iron from the perimeter. Couldn't get the threes to go down. And 
really the story of the game. They kept chucking from distance, and ultimately it was their undoing. A disappointing result. Simmons looking it over. Harris against Edwards. Embiid wide open. But they'll get another chance. Harris dishes to Embiid. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Ed Davis. And look at that. The massive size of Embiid. He uses it well to cause problems for the defense. This is his second trip to the free throw line. In last season, he was successful. 81% of the time when he went to the line, so he didn't waste a lot Take of a opportunities. Break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for MB. And the Hakeem Olajuwon comparisons are they're somewhat legitimate. I mean, Embiid's skill set and size is something you don't see very often. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Howard comes in for Green, and it's Seth Curry in for Matisse Thibel. And then for Minnesota, Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for Edwards. Culver comes in for Malik Beasley. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Ricky Rubio. It, it, it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. And Russell gets it to go. Oh, he's got a role in this quarter, taking it on himself to guide their offense. Russell's gone three of five, shooting from the floor. And Simmons kicks to Harris. Down low, Culver with the steal. To the left side wing. Oh, Russell in position. He doesn't hit that one. And already, they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backdoor. Yeah, that, that's got them over the limit with a lot of time still left. They're going to have to tone it down, or they may end up giving up a lot of free throws here. It's his first trip to the line. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And everyone wants Simmons to add a consistent outside jump shot. But while that's a work in progress, he does just fine at the rim. An incredibly adept finisher up close. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Tony Bradley's checked in for Joel Embiid. And it's Jake Milton in for Tobias Harris. And the Timberwolves also making a change. A Kogi's checked in. And he makes the first but misses the second. But well, growing up in Australia, Ben Simmons played lots of Australian rules football. When you watch him play, that's the toughest you see. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. And C. Webb, as you said with Simmons, when he's going at the rim, he's as good as it gets. Oh, yes, yeah, a great blend of size, speed, and strength. He controls his body to create space. He can lay it up from unorthodox angles with ease. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. If you go step in a time machine, what would you like and dislike about playing in this here at this time? Well, like, no doubt about the tempo and the spacing. Uh, I, I think that, more than anything, allows for the true skill and artistry of the game to be on display. Uh, I probably wouldn't want to get switched onto MB down low. <laughs> that, that wouldn't, I would probably dislike that and let it be known vociferously. But, but, I, but I always pictured you as being fearless, like you would never turn down that kind of challenge. I wouldn't turn it down publicly. <laughs> <laughs> Just three to shoot. And Simmons slams it in. I mean, that's too easy for Simmons. I mean, the closer he gets to the bucket, the more dangerous he is. Here's McLaughlin, guarded by Kirk. Now the 76ers on the break. Hilton the pass to Simmons. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Minnesota's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Culver with it. Curry meets him. And the shot goes down. 
And Gomez has got it all tied up now for the Timberwolves. How about the recognition from Colbert? Terrific at realizing when the defense has broken down. Simmons passes to Milton. Now here's Curry. Defense is right there. And that's on a bound. Philadelphia will retain possession. Korkmaz checked in for Simmons. Here's Milton. Shot from the inbound. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Oh, no. Sloppy finish. The D was giving him the layup. He just didn't stay with it. And so the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. Here's McLaughlin. He's still scoreless so far in this one. There's the pass to Okogi. Lock at six to the wing right side. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Curry looking it over. Feeds it to Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. If you allow Howard to get in close, he's going to punch that ticket. The Timberwolves trail. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Culver. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Now the 76ers on the break. It's Curry outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Now it's a five-point Philadelphia lead. Culver with it. Outside, Davis. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Uh, yeah, even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. Here's Korkmaz. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Back to Howard. Now, Milton. It's Bradley on the wing. It's stolen by Davis. To the middle. Here's Colbert, and then Colbert with the dunk. How about the force there from Colbert, making sure to finish with power, leaving no doubt with that finish. The 76ers leading by three. Milton the pass to Howard. Out left to the wing. Here's Korkmaz. They get it back. Uh, golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Here's a Kogi. Fires the three. Great D that time from Curry. Philadelphia's gone a meager 106 from three-point land since we got started tonight. There's 138 left to play in the first. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Yeah, and I have too, which is why they're okay with it. I'm sure if he gets that kind of look again, he's going to let it fly again. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. Now, here's Colton, defended by Milton. For three, a Kogi. Rebounded by Howard. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Here's Korkmaz. Minnesota with the rebound. Pass to Okogie. And it's blocked by Bradley. Now, here's Milton. He's guarding closely. Now, this is the chemistry Howard has with his guys. Fantastic at realizing when to go for alley -oops. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. McLaughlin, the pass to Davis. Inside. 
Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his fourth rebound in this one. Passes to Kerr. Now, here's Howard. And here is Curry. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And the pass to Culver. Over Milton. And that concludes the first quarter of play. 76ers on top. They finish off the first quarter with a 13 to 5 run. Live from Philadelphia. You're watching 2K Sports. And chatting earlier with Ben Simmons, he addressed the scrutiny that players have to deal with on a daily basis. For me, it, it comes with blocking criticism from people I don't really need to hear from. You know, I don't mind. Everyone has their opinion. Everyone's going to say something, um, which is fine. But at the same time, I got to worry about, you know, what I need to focus on. And with social media now, Greg blocking out the noise has become for these players even harder. I mean, truth is, people like to criticize others. We should be celebrating what Simmons has accomplished at a very young age. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. What stands out to you guys from the 76ers in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, is they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. They've got Curry. Pork Miles is out there with Bradley. Then there's Howard. And it's Milton in at the two-guard spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Here's Culver. Here's Edwards. Out to the right wing. A Kogi for three. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got five rebounds tonight. Curry with it. Guarded now by Rubio. Over Towns. That one wide left. That's a break for the D right there. I mean, he takes advantage of open looks inside more often than not. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Teams have dynasties, the 90s, Michael Jordan. We've seen it over the many decades. Over the next decade, though, who do you think is going to lead the pack there? Ooh, that's a great question. You know, with the way Father Time is treating Le Le LeBron, you, you might have to wait and see because he is still playing at such a high level. But, you know, obviously Giannis has got to be on the short list with the Bucs. Uh, for me, I, I really look at Luka in, in Dallas. I, I just feel like with... Christoph uh, Porzingis, that that duo could just be deadly with how the game is played. But don't sleep on the Celtics with, with Tatum and Brown and that group that they have with the front office they have. Man, I think the league overall is going to be in great shape moving forward. It sure seems that way. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Howard. Harris comes in for Bradley. Green, he's checked in for Korkmaz. And Matisse Thibel subbed in for Shake Milton. Now here's Green. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. And it was the little things, too. I mean, getting to the line, finding ways to get his points any way possible. And it's Towns with the ball. He'll bring it up for Minnesota. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Awesome some contact here, but Russell is not intimidated. Comes through it to finish strong. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Curry passes to Embiid. Bible with the ball. Back to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. Getting off the ground fast. Embiid is an absolute animal when it comes to hammering it home. And it's Rubio penetrating and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Minnesota shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. Simmons checked in for Philadelphia. He doesn't get the second one. And, you know, for all the talk about Rubio's passing, I think one thing that gets overlooked is his defense. Both his on-the-ball and, and defensive rebounding are very strong for the point guard position. Now, here's Thibault. 
He's coming off a 10-point game against the Hawks in Atlanta. To the paint, here's Edwards, and Edwards with the stop. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. And last season, Carl Anthony Towns shooting over 40% from three-point range with over eight attempts a game. I mean, Greg, he is in the conversation, don't you think, for best three-point shooting center of all time? It's amazing, Kevin. His volume of threes is unprecedented for the center position. And it's not just standstill. Catch and shoot triples. He's hitting step backs. He could have that title when it's all said and done. Now here's Simmons after the miss from Ricky Rubio. Here's Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. And it's a five-point Philadelphia lead. Uh, you can't leave anyone uncovered around Simmons. I mean, he's fantastic in seeing when one of his guys is open. Rubio against Simmons. And at the top of the key, Towns. Here's Russell. Towns trying to get open. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Oh, smart, smooth guard. Russell is so good at keeping defenders off balance. For Minnesota, they have shot 67% from the line tonight. Going for a six. And so Russell hits them both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys. And it hasn't been by accident. Simmons with it. Guarded now by Rubio. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And, and what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple-double threat whenever he suits up. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben Simmons is, Greg. This is just the beginning for him. I mean, and that's what fans are missing about Simmons, his age. I mean, you can worry about his shot. But he has a long time to figure it out. He, he could end up having a Jason Kidd type of a career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Bible, the pass to Simmons. Over Russell. And that one hits back iron. Timberwolves trail by five. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Ben Simmons. We'll talk about a shifty offensive talent. When Russell gets going downhill, he, he's tough to stop. Oh, finally, he's getting himself to the line. He's gotten much more aggressive as the game is going on. And so Russell hits them both. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done different, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire, but that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of them. Yes. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Here's Simmons after the basket by Minnesota. Oh, the lob for Simmons. Throws down the alley-oop slam. That's all you have to do. Throw it in Simmons' general direction. He'll take care of the rest. Minnesota calls timeout. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Here's Ruby. Outside Russell. Rubio the pass to Towns. Good D by Embiid. It's a very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lay-in. Here's Thibel. Embiid trying to break loose. Harris kicks to Embiid. Count the basket. Embiid's got 14. Even with the D giving him a lot of attention, he's still finding ways to light him up. Rubio against Simmons. 
Rubio outside. Russell finds Rubio. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Simmons got four rebounds in this game. Here's Thibel. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his fifth assist in this one. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Now, here is Russell. 29 points for him last game against Miami. Yeah, and don't forget about his passing. He didn't forget about his teammates. He was spreading the ball all over the floor. This is his third trip to the free throw line. And, you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. Jordan McLaughlin's checked in for Ricky Rubio. And the evolution of Russell has been fun to watch. I mean, and, and he's not done growing just yet. Not by a long shot. Now, here's Green. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Offensive rebound. Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. This kind of hustle is why his teammates love him. Harris, nice work for getting after it on the glass. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. They trail by 11. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Harris. You gotta give credit. Now look at that assertiveness of Russell right there. Even inside, he forces the issue and gets the call. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. First one falls for him. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Davis has checked in. And so Russell hits them both. And he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight. A little bit of an unexpected bonus for them. And Simmons slams it in. Playing to his strengths on the offensive end. Simmons, I mean, an added bonus whenever he catches fire. Easily outside. Embiid against Towns. There's Russell with the three. Another miss by Minnesota. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. MB, no good. Timberwolves trail by 11. Russell, no luck. This quarter has been hit or miss for him. Mostly miss. Green kicks to Theibel. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And he's lucky his teammates have picked up the slack for him. I mean, his shooting has been horrific. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Towns. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Philadelphia leading by 13. Green, the pass to Thibel. Back to Green. Here's the floater, and that's two points on the layup. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. To the inside, and Russell with the basket on the assist by Beasley. Beasley's got three assists tonight. Well, well he's always been known as a streaky player, and tonight, Russell's streak is the good kind. He's rolling. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And Philadelphia will go for a different look here. Dwight out. He's checked in for Joel Embiid. Bradley comes in for Harris. Borkmaz checked in for Green. And it's Jake Milton in for Matisse Thibault. Minnesota also making some changes. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for Davis. Okogie comes in for Malik Beasley. And Culver's subbed in for Jordan McLaughlin. Okogie, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. 
This is his first trip to the line tonight. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The 76ers leading by 11. Milton with it. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And the rejection by Towns. Poked away. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And that one is hammered home. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way. And get a great look. Philadelphia's gotten into trouble with the through ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Walton the pass to Simmons. the call on the shot that sends him to the line and the Timberwolves have made it clear Carl Anthony Towns is their franchise player he's the guy they're building around and we've heard Towns for years pronouncing his happiness with the Timberwolves last season Greg as the losses piled up some rumors that he was getting frustrated well we've seen this pattern with the Timberwolves before right Kevin Garnett Super Kevin two. Love all-star big man who ended up leaving the Twin Cities to win titles. And the first one drops. And Simmons drops them both. Here's Russell. He's got 20. the line to town takes the avenue pass and dunks it down and how about the athleticism from towns there skying up with ease to power through on that alley -oop. simmons passes the cork mods lets it fly another miss by philadelphia he is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. This isn't like him, and he knows it. The best thing they could do was try to get him more easy looks. And Philadelphia making a change here. Curry's checked in. So Curry will bring it up for the 76ers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And the rejection by Towns. And his foot movement is what makes Towns such a terrific shot blocker. He moves so well and can defend just about any position on the floor. Way to work the inside-out game. Draws the defense in and kicks it out for the open shot. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first half. Pass to Brandon. Back to Curry. The dish to Howard. Pass to Bradley. Shot clock at six. Lays it up off the glass. Bradley's got his first points in this one. Yeah, after a first quarter where they struggled from long range, they really started to get it closer to the basket. Russell against Curry. 
Russell inside, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Dwight Howard. Clearly a foul. This will be his fifth trip to the free throw line. is off. And he sinks the second. We've got 108 left here in the second. Curry kicks to Bradley. Here's Curry. Six points for him wing six to shoot here's court miles rebound minnesota and he'll be happy that they're in front but he knows better than anyone else that he's still without a bucket and he won't be happy outside curly it's up a three rebound minnesota Bernie Gomez has got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Culver. Passes it to a Kogi. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Outside, Towns. Here's a Kogi. Defended by Milton. Up again. And it's Towns on the follow. Towns has got his second bucket tonight. Uh, the long arms, the positioning. Towns is excellent at knowing how to gobble up those second chance opportunities. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. 76ers lead by three. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Joel, you've got the lead, so how do you build on that as the game continues? Uh, just keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and making plays. Hey, they always build off of their defense here. Thanks for your time, man. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play, everybody. Welcome. Ben Simmons putting in some incredible work. He ended up with 17 points, four rebounds, and one steal. He's really stood out for them to this point. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, they were determined to win the physical battle tonight. And if you look at the rebound, they are winning it. Now, that's great. All of those bodies crashing on the boards, that's the physicality and the mental edge that you need in this game. Check. What do you think about Minnesota? Well, they need to strike a balance between being aggressive and being too aggressive. You know, Ernie, you need to be solid defensively at the same time, but not get pushed around. I think they're, they're giving up a lot of free throws, way too many. They need to go back to playing solid, fundamental defense and build the energy from there. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. It's been a clinic out there with D'Angelo Russell. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. Yeah, I mean, showing that tenacity both mentally and physically. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Timberwolves trail by three. So on the floor for Minnesota. Downs is out there with Edwards. Then it's Malik Beasley. Then it's Ricky Rubio. And it's Russell in at the two guard. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. It's more than just being in the right place at the right time. I mean, he's been active and aggressive. Now here's Simmons. 76ers moving the ball around. Now here's Thibel. Over by Beasley. Three-pointer by Embiid. Rebound, Minnesota. 
They've got the Wizards ahead of them. Their next game in Washington. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. And how about the efficiency from Towns? The, the shots he takes often fall well within the offensive game plan. Rubio against Simmons. It's over Rubio. A bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's on Anthony Edwards. I mean, how do you guard that? Simmons, he's a big guy with some incredible dribble moves. He shot five of six at the foul line. That one misses for Simmons. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for Minnesota. It's a three-point game. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Rubio against Simmons. Harris, right side. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. He's played with a doggedness and determination. That's how you end up with double-digit boards. Now here is Harris. Anthony Edwards unable to get his last shot to go in. Oh, if you can't hit that one, your teammates are going to think twice about feeding you the next time. Man. Here's Beasley, and he uses the glass on the layup. Beasley's got the lead up to one now for Minnesota. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. For Philadelphia, they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. Harris outside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Harris has got his third bucket of the night. Uh, the dribbling maneuvering of Harris. I mean, just an absolute genius with the ball in his hands. Rubio, the pass to Beasley. Back to Rubio. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And he deserves a lot of credit for what he was able to do at the line last year. 86% from the strike. He hits the second from the line. Listen, there's no doubt he feels like they should have the lead, but that miss will keep it all tied up. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And you can see the mindset he has. When the game's this close, he's going to bring it at that end of the floor. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. The pass to Towns. Here's Edwards. He can't get it to go. Now the 76ers take it the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. The hook, Simmons dishes to Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got three assists tonight. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing to watch Harris mature. I mean, physically, he can handle the power. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. One shot. And now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. Knocks it loose. Ibo on the wing. Shoots. And the shot is long. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense 
was designed to create. Come on, you can't be selfish. You got to be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, you're just predictable. Here's Simmons. 19 points in the game. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Here's Embiid. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. Now proving how legitimate of a threat he is inside. I mean, once Embiid gets it this close, uh, I mean, it's all but over. Pass to Towns. Tries from 10. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. For Minnesota, they've gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. And, and you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. Davis has checked in for the Timberwolves. Jordan McLaughlin comes in for Russell. 76ers trailing. And Simmons kicks to Harris. That shot, no good. Towns with the defensive effort. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. Here's Simmons after the made shot from Carl Anthony Towns. Here's Thibel. The 76ers again can't hit it. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. That's a good break. I mean, it's tough to connect on those long distance passes. It's the Timberwolves now. Three-point lead. Here's Towns. A terrific at keeping pace with his man. I mean, Embiid is solid at getting the hand up and contesting without foul. Curry's checked in for Matisse Thibel. Philadelphia's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Simmons passes to Harris. Here's the teardrop. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Oh, and it's not easy to measure these floaters, but Harris has really mastered the craft. Pass to Rubio. Outside, Towns. Passes it to McLaughlin. Lock at six. Down low. Here's Rubio. Good, and the assist goes to Town. Rubio's got the lead back up to three now for Minnesota. Here's Simmons. He's got 19. Outside green. Now Simmons. The pass to Embiid. And the shot goes in. He's never passed when it comes to getting tricky with it. Uh, Embiid is very confident with the ball in his hands. Here's McLaughlin. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Inside. And the basket by Rubio. Rubio's got the lead up to three now for the Timberwolves. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Pass to Harris. For Minnesota, they've gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. And Davis throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Now here's Simmons. 
comes home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That one is on Towns. That's just the sheer strength of Simmons. You, know, you want to try to tie him down? He's going to fight hard for every bucket. This will make five trips now to the free throw line for him tonight. Howard's checked in for the 76ers. Korkmaz comes in for Green. Timberwolves also changing it up. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Akogi comes in for Edwards. And Culver's subbed in for Ricky Rubio. Minnesota in the lead. Pass to Akogi. Now here's Davis. Passes to McLaughlin. Here's Culver. Five to shoot. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Seven points for Jarrett Culver. Uh, they lost their edge on D here in the second half. I mean, far too passive. They're not dictating the pace anymore. And here is Simmons. He's got 22. There's the pass to Korkmaz. Back to Simmons. The shot's good. Simmons got 24. I mean, at almost seven feet tall, Simmons is hard to contain. The defense has to push him farther away. Now, here's Culver. D right on him. Here's a Kogi. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. Philadelphia's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. No good. That would have tied it. The Timberwolves shooting for the game at 42%. Finished off the break. Akogi's got nine. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. And here are the 76ers now. After the basket by Minnesota. And they double up Simmons. Here's Howard. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. He has six. So tough to stay with the pick and roll. Howard moves so fluidly after setting the solid screen. Culver with it. Seven points in the game. To the middle. Ron Gomez trying to break free. A nice shot by Culver. And the Timberwolves lead by four. Simmons with it. Culver covering. Back to Simmons. Up and in. That's his 10th make in the contest. He has only taken 13 shots. Well, he's perfect from the field this quarter. He's given them the fits out there. And the Timberwolves call time. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able to pull in front despite his struggles tonight. Pass to Korkmaz. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got five assists tonight. Oh, he just caught the defense napping. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range, and there's no hand in his face. Bobbed up there for Howard. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now, here's Culver. Nine points in the game so far. And we know GA shooting is a question mark for Jarrett Culver. A long wind-up, a little hitch in his giddy-up, and shoots it kind of on the way down. He's reworked his motion. I like the high release, but it's still a work in progress. Shooting two. And that one misses. And Culver's game just screams 
potential. Already a good score, rebounder, and passer. Now the next step, improving that outside shot. Seth Curry, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Guys, this offense very effective. And guys, the defense has been no match. They just picked them apart. MB dishes to Howard. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5 for 8 clip. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Oh, you get in this side like this, you're going to get a high percentage shot almost every time. 132 left in the third. Outside curve. Simmons inside. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist from Simmons. Simmons got six assists now in the game. Timberwolves trail by five. Here's McLaughlin. There's the lob. The towel hammers the alley-oop through. That gives him a double-double in this one. Ten points and 16 rebounds. 59 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Embiid. Back to Milton. And the rejection by Towns. Here's McLaughlin. And again, it's Minnesota. Forty-four seconds left to play in the third. Now Kerr. Six points for him. Passes it to Embiid. He kicks it to Howard. Shot clock at six. Over Towns. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And it's blocked by Simmons. But the reach of Simmons, I and mean, he's coming into play on these blocks. You got to be careful shooting around this guy. Now, here's Milton. And so it's Ben Simmons making highlights for the Philadelphia 76ers. He's up to 26 points in the game now, just keeps pouring in the buckets. Back right after this. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. The 76ers leading. Shake Milton is out there with Seth Curry. Then there's Embiid. Then there's Matisse Thibel. And it's Howard in at the five. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Now here's Embiid. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. And Beasley, here we go. So they take the lead. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. Free throw drops in for Beasley. 76ers trailing. And here is Milton. The pass to Thibault. And the three off target. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. The feed to Russell. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. 
The 76 is shooting 43% for the game. Bobbed up there for Howard, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. And as we check out this year's contenders for the dunk contest, we get a look at some of the showmen, the best showmen in the NBA. And with the names on that list, you know we're going to have a crazy competition this year. You look at Simmons, and I know he'd like to make a move up in the consideration he's got all the athleticism you hope for from a dunk contest participant. He sure does. Lots of competition, though, in the running this year to get that big invite. And as always, we'll keep the updates coming in as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. One thing we already know, there are some great players pulling in boats so far. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those dunk contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. To the paint, Timberwolves passing it around. A shot by Culver, nobody around. Another miss by Minnesota. For Philadelphia, they've gone over three to start the fourth quarter. Here's Milton. Buries it from three-point range. Milton's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. And guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any all the way down. Now, here is Russell. Drops in the layup for two. Russell's got 28 points for the game. Uh, getting better at sizing up the defense, Russell's decision-making is crucial to him succeeding in the roles. The 76ers have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Milton finds Curry. Eibel on the wing. Looking to get back on track here. And Davis sends it back. Just four to shoot. And nothing fancy, really, about that play. That's just good, old-fashioned, hard-nosed basketball to get that one. Towns, the pass to Russell. Back to Towns. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got four assists in the game. He's getting hotter the deeper we get into this game. I mean, he didn't give him, he didn't give him much of anything in the first half. And the 76ers call time here. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. He's been a thorn in their side all game. They'll probably use this timeout to change up their D. The system they're in now, it, it just isn't getting it done. And the 76ers with some changes. Tobias Harris has checked in for Joel Embiid, and it's Green and for Seth Curry. Minnesota also making some changes. Edwards, he's checked in for Davis. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Culver. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He said, if we're going to pull this out, we have to do it as a team. We have to rely on one another, trust one another, and help one another. Let's go get this. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, thanks. And Howard with the stuff. Solid recognition from the center. Howard is intelligent and taking advantage of these opportunities. Now, here is Russell, defended by Thibault. Here's Towns, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. It seems like they found their rhythm offensively, and they're shooting the ball much better out of the break. Thibault finds Milton. Green with the ball. Another three for Philadelphia. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. But it had to be. These days, you need to stretch the floor somewhat to make everything else work. On defense, Philadelphia. And they double up Russell. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. He lobs it up. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And there's the call on Carl Anthony Towns. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And Simmons, he's checked in for the 76ers. Pass to Green. Heibel with the ball. Howard with it. Kicks to Harris. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Shot clock at two. Bible can't get it to go. 
One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. There's the lob to Towns. An emphatic LU jam. And you could see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now here's Simmons. Pass to Harris. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got assist number seven for him tonight. Well, well throughout Harris's career, he has worked on building up his body, putting that added strength to good use on these tough finishes. Here's Russell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Throw good, Russell. And so Russell hits them both. And Simmons has got the ball here for the 76ers. Trailing by two. This game is finished. They'll be off to Portland taking on the Trailblazers. It sets in motion a four-game road trip for him. Now here is Harris. Howard scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Russell finds Rubio. And it's blocked by Simmons. But they recover it. Another shot. Now the 76ers on the break. To take the lead, he takes it up and lays it in. Here's Ruby. He dishes it to Towns. And no good that time. Some solid defense from Harris. Here's Green, makes it off the glass. And the 76ers lead by four. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Russell looking around, and the layup falls. Russell's got 32 points in the game. And look at Russell bringing the intensity. He's stronger now, willing to mix it up inside no matter who's on it. Here's Feibel after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Oh, the lob for Simmons. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Towns dishes to Edwards. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Russell passes to Edwards. Rubio outside, five on the clock. Beasley left side. No good on the triple. The 76ers have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, seven of 14. Harris drives in. Minnesota with the rebound. Here's Rubio, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Thibel. Here's Green. Beasley with the rebound. Outside, Towns. To the middle, it's deflected. Howard with the steal. Simmons against Rubio, stolen by Rubio. And now the pass break, Edwards with the ball. And Edwards with the stop. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right, and that's severe punishment right there. <laughs> Oh, you're right, and I love the opportunistic approach. These kinds of hustle plays can be game changers. Simmons dishes to Harris. 
and every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. It's more than just being in the right place at the right time. I mean, he's been active and aggressive. Outside, Russell. Just five on the clock. Beasley outside to take the lead. Misses off the right eye. Philadelphia's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And Simmons kicks to Thibault. Back to Simmons. Over Russell. Simmons passes to Thibault. Ball's knocked loose, and it's stolen by Ricky Rubio. And now Minnesota on the fast break. Russell's running, and Edwards with the stop. And you might not have expected him to go for the steal there, but, but boy, oh boy, did that ever work out. 76ers trailing. Outside, Green. Pass to Harris. Howard trying to free himself up. That's good from Harris on the assist from Green. Harris has got four points now in the quarter. Now, here is Russell. He's tightly guarded. Count it! And he'll have a chance for a three-point play. That's on Dwight Howard. They are just killing him on the interior. And the 76ers making a change here. Embiid's checked in. And a change for the Timberwolves. Davis is checked in. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. We throw good, Russell. And hasn't had as many opportunities at the line as he did in that first half. Out to the right wing. Here's Embiid. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one is on Towns. He had a defender all over him. And he knocks down the first one. And MB drops them both. And the Timberwolves call time. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, D'Angelo Russell. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. So it's Rubio bringing it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. It's a one-point game. Towns finds Rubio. From eight. Kicks it out to Beasley. For the three. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Here's Green outside Simmons. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Simmons against Rubio. Loads it up for Rubio. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Feibel. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. Minnesota's gone ice cold from three-point land. 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. And it's Beasley finishing it off. I mean, this is what you pay Russell to do. He can pass it as well as score. It. He's really settled in as a receiver. The 76ers trail by three. Down low, Towns with the steal. And now Davis pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And it's Beasley finishing it off. In a game this close, this late, that kind of D is clutch. It is. And then, Greg, to go in for the flush. That could be a backbreaker. Yeah, yeah, but you can't fail to protect the ball. That's the likely result. Those types of turnovers. 
Count that bucket. Embiid's got 10 points in just the second half. Now, this is why Embiid has the ball in these moments, because the team counts on him to step up. Outside, Russell. He takes it to Towns. Rubio outside. To the inside. Embiid with the steal. Unhindered. Going all the way. And Simmons slams it in. Demonstrating how valuable he is in the clutch. Simmons is calm, cool, and collected in these moments. Good. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They know they can count on him to make some shots. Philadelphia has gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're behind by three. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. White Howard's checked in for Joel Embiid. 52 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It counts! And that shot brings them to within just one. Easy to see why Simmons is on the floor. He's terrific at capitalizing, doing important parts of the game. Now, here is Russell, defended by Thibault. Russell inside, and two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. And they had a foul to give, but you want to use it on the ground. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. He's able to hit the second one, and that will put them up by two. Well, they should be looking at a three-point lead. Hopefully for them, that miss won't cost them. Timeout called the 76ers. They're trailing by two. 29 seconds left in the fourth. seconds left to play here in the fourth. Simmons, the bounce pants. Here's Harris. No good off the back of the rim. Now the Timberwolves with it. The lead is two. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. So they get what they want out of that trip, or, you know, now a two-possession game. And there's the pass to Green from outside the arc, a rebound by the Timberwolves. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Clutch, clutch free throws there. That should ensure they're going home with the W. And so the Timberwolves take the win. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Ricky, did you like the way you guys were going offensively tonight? Yeah, we started the game very slow. We can't start like that. But after that, we, we just get shots, and we make the shots, and we make the shots. We, we're a good team. Yeah, that opens up the whole floor, Ricky. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you later.